Hi, you guys. Good morning. This is Sandra Ayan, your home care provider. Um, I'm trying to find some paperwork that I need for my um, my AGI or IGI, which is for the taxes. So I've been going through paperwork since like 6 o'clock this morning. But I've been receiving phone calls and I'm a little upset, okay? Um... Okay, great. I'm a little upset because <sighs> there is mistakes that are being done and where are they? I have they're there. I have been trying to teach you guys about the violations. I think I need one more video for um, violations for the fourth violation in Spanish. And that's it. Explaining to you guys how violations work. Okay. Um, let me move this out of here. I'm upset because. <clears throat> I have gotten on the phone. We've done three-way phone calls with when we call the provider clerk's office, we've done three-way phone calls where they um allow me to advocate for you, okay? Where they allow me to speak on behalf of you. Because I know what I'm I'm doing and saying, okay, as an advocate. And they have people that they hire. They have people that they hire when they do um, their, their advocates, period. Um, that fight for you. It's like a lawyer, okay? Um, some of the lawyers, of course, you guys know that lawyers charge an arm and a leg. And... We end up paying a lawyer because we don't know as much as we probably should. But I'm not a lawyer, okay? I am an advocate. I am an advocate when it comes to teaching you guys and fighting for you guys because I don't like any kind of discrimination, okay? And yesterday I visited a gentleman that um, needs my help. In doing, his, teaching him how to do his timesheets, okay? And he gave me a letter. And the letter was a first violation. So we went through the paperwork that he's supposed to be filling out. And there was two things. I said, okay, the paperwork looks correct. The problem, there's two problems. One of them is, like I mentioned to you guys before, the machine will make a mistake. That's one of the uh, problems. The other problem is that maybe he didn't write the numbers correctly, okay? Um, here's a, and like I said, I'm going through paperwork, okay, because I need to find my, um, and I'm going to write on this because I need you guys to see what it is that I'm talking about when the machine, and this is an old timesheet, okay? It's just a copy timesheet. And I've talked to people before about making mistakes. God, that's terrible. And... Some of them understand, you know, I see these red flags, you guys, because I've been dealing with this for a long time, okay? And I see the mistakes are, where the mistakes are done. And I'm going to try to show you guys, when you fill out your paper timesheet, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Let me see if this is blue. Beautiful, this is blue. First of all, when you turn in your timesheets... You're supposed to do them in black ink, okay? When you do them 
I'm going to use blue because I want to show you guys what the machine reads. Okay. I got to call. I got to call them. Okay. So I see these red flags automatically. Now, this is a timesheet. Hold on. I did it in black ink. That a lady sent in once. Okay? And she got a violation. Oops. Sorry. She got a violation. I want to make sure this is clearly seen. Do you guys see the number one? <clears throat> Do you see, the number one is in blue, okay? And I did it in blue on purpose because I want you guys to see this. The number one is in blue. And not only is the number one overpassing the box, okay? It's going on to the next box where she had a four. And that's just an example because I can't remember what number she had. Well, the number that she had... The machine gave her a violation. It gave her a violation. The machine gave her a violation because she didn't put it in properly. She put the one and it went into the next box. Turn this off. And it confused the machine and it ended up giving her a violation because it wasn't properly put in. So that is not the way you are supposed to do. You are supposed to enter your numbers. This is the correct way to enter your numbers, okay? You see the box I highlighted? Let's make sure. Okay. You see how the one is in the center? Right in the center. It is extremely clear. There's no problems. If I wanted to put a four, and like I said, you do your your you're filling your timesheets with black ink because it states it up here. Okay, you see how clear that is, that one and that four? The machine will recognize this, but it will not recognize this. And this is where the violation is going to occur. So it is imperative that you guys enter your numbers properly, like this. Clearly, take your time. Take, make a copy of your timesheet. Do it on a... Um, this is not trash. Do it on a... Um, on a, on a copy, after the copy, look at it again and take your time and fill it out on your paper timesheets. I told you guys, paper timesheets are going to be obsolete. As of January 1st, we are going to be doing electronic timesheets, which in a sense, it's going to help. Why? Because we're not going to have these paper uh, paper timesheet problems anymore. I am upset. The reason I'm putting this video and I'm going to be titling it um, violation, viol How to Fight Violation 1, which is only a warning. The reason I'm upset is because this gentleman called this morning and spoke to a provider clerk. And the provider clerk, and he told he wanted clarification, and he read the 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 lady was young, nice enough to read the timesheet to him, but she only read it to a certain extent. And part of the problem is that they're overwhelmed, and they have hundreds and hundreds of phone calls they have to answer. But I want you guys to know that it's imperative that you guys get, you've been waiting on hold, that you guys get the attention that you guys deserve because you've also been waiting on hold. You need to have your questions answered. And this young man called me and said, you know what, Sandra, I asked her over and over and over again to please send me a copy of the uh, timesheet from last month, which was the viol where they issued him his first violation. And she said, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, we're going to forgive you for that one. But don't try. Don't make another mistake. And that's the problem. That is why I, I was upset. I said to him, look, it's up to you. You can call and you can tell them. Please um, send me a copy of my 
send me a copy of my vi of my supposedly violation. I want to because in his case that's what it is. I want to see where it is that you're stating that I made a mistake because this violation is is time sensitive. It is 10 days that you have to appeal the process and fight it. So if there's no violation there, I understand that the young lady said, oh, don't worry about it. It's only your first violation. No, worry about it. Worry about it. Why? Because if you get have one violation, even though it's a warning, I've already explained to you guys the second violation here. And I found I just found a paper. It says the first violation is a written warning and ma is mailed to the provider. Second violation, written warning is mailed to the provider with the option to complete a one time training to have the violation dismissed. A third violation is suspended. A provider is suspended for 90 days. A fourth violation, a provider terminated for one year. Note, if more than one violation occurs in a month, it will only count as one violation. I've tried to explain to you guys that these violations, unfortunately, even though they you made a mistake on both of your timesheets, they're only going to be giving you a violation for one, 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 one timesheet, one violation per month. But it's also a domino effect. What, what that means is that it goes over, it rolls over to the next and the next and the next and the next. And I'm sure you guys have seen dominoes. So when she told him, oh, don't worry about it. It's okay. It's only your first one. No, you better worry about it. You better go ahead and start trying to find out where it is that the mistake was made. And part of the reason that I'm saying where the mistake was made is because you need to know. You're entitled to know where the mistake is made because then you can fight it. Then you can appeal it. You know, if you made a mistake, then you made a mistake. But if you didn't make a mistake and you're being punished by it, that's not that's not cool. So when I call my time, I'm right now, my, my lady knows that today is the 15th and I have been trying to do my taxes and it has not happened because I'm missing paperwork and I just have to do it. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm headed out and I'm going to go to work. But I can't sit here. Sometimes I can advocate with you guys. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can sit there on the phone and listen to you guys. Sometimes I can't. And in this specific um, situation, I wish I could sit down and, you know, be care worry free and go ahead and help this man out. But I told him, look, this is your responsibility. You have to do it. You have to call. I am trying to tell you what to do. I am trying to tell you what your rights are. You have to call them and you have rights to know where the mistake was made. They have to mail you out a timesheet, a copy of your timesheet where it the the machine will print out a printout and send you a copy of it telling you where you made the mistake. You're entitled to that. You have the right to do that. So I told them it's up to you. It's up to you. They've when they when I fought uh violations they have given me, I, I have fought violations for people and they have given me all the information I need to see if the machine made the mistake, if the provider made the mistake, if there was a reason for um, them making a mistake or going over the hours. And we fought that in every violation that I fought, I've always won. Give me a second. So it is imperative, extremely imperative that you guys fight your violations that you guys get the information that you guys need because even though it's just one warning even though it's just one violation well guess what that one violation stays with you and like she said oh well don't worry as long as you don't get a second one I told the lady yesterday I spoke, I ha I went to go visit another lady and she says, but Sandra, what am I going to do if you're gone? I said, look, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. You know, God forbid something happens to me, but I'm not going anywhere. I promise you that I will take care of you and I will continue to teach you and show you as long as, oh, well, 
That's old. As long as I I can because it's important. It's important for me to help you. I, I love my job. I love what I do. Um, so I wanted to stress to you the importance of the very first violation that you get, even though it's a warning, I need to stress it to you because it's extremely important, extremely important. So please do not sit back and say, oh my God, well, it's only a warning. No, it's not. It may be a warning, but it's also going to start tallying up violation one, violation two, violation three, violation four, and that's it. You're done. You're done. And this, this gentleman pays his, um, pays everything with what he gets. Everything. His rent, his light, his gas, his telephone. Wow, this is old. See and learn from my kid. <sighs> so I just want to stress. I want to stress to you guys the importance of the first violation. I want to stress to you guys how to fight for it. Do not sit there and just go, oh, it's okay. No, because you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be sorry. You're going to be sorry that you didn't fight it the first time because now you got two and now you got a bigger headache and now there's no going back. There's no going back. If you do not answer that violation in 10 days, they're going to end up keeping it, putting it on your record and that's what you don't want. So his notice of action, he received his notice of action of the violation in the nice pretty red envelope that they that they scare you with. And you're supposed to mail it out. Mailing it out is fine. Takes two days, four days, gets there, it's late. So I suggest that you guys go to the office that that case is coming out of. And you go and you turn it in and you make a copy of it and you get it stamped. You get it stamped and, oh wow, this is old. Anyways, you get it stamped and you keep a copy for it of, your, of it, of your record. Stamped and initialed by the person that's receiving it. So that you have something to fight back. Well, I turned it in. Well, there's another one. Trash. So, oh, I got a map of, uh. Oregon. I might just take a trip down there. Wow. Only God knows only God knows why he does what he does, right? Right. Here is a beautiful state. They got this place called Weed. Three exits to Weed. And apparently they have a university too. I'm everywhere. Even church. Okay, this is something. So, please, 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 as aggressive as I may seem, as frustrated as I may look, as horrible as I appear right now, without eyebrows, I cannot stress how important it is to pay attention, fight this first violation, which is just a warning, because it accumulates to more. I need you guys to subscribe. I still don't have a thousand subscribers. I want to be able to communicate with you guys. I'm pre-recording this. Subscribe, like, comment, share this. Um, my telephone number is 562-281-3219. That's, oops. That's my business card. My son picked the picture. And I put time sheets on the back. Five six two. What a difference, huh? Makeup does a lot. <laughs> Five six two two eight one three two one nine. Please subscribe, comment, like, call me, text me, ask me questions. I'll be more than happy to help you. Press the little button. A little. 
wow, this is old. Press the little bell on the side of my video or my when you subscribe so that you can get, you can watch it. When I do videos, it'll tell you, hey, Sandra, just put a video up. Um, and it'll notify you this way. I love this sign. Beware of dog. I actually like the other sign that says, don't worry about the dog. Worry about the owner. This goes over here because I need it. Please, 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 please. Thank you. God bless you guys. I'm going to keep going through this paperwork. I'm almost done. I'm looking for my taxes. Which I'm almost there. So, God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day. Uh, it is Monday, but whatever. Okay. Bye.